Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be picking up one of the cheapest bikes that I've found online. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'm currently on break now and I don't have much time just going out to pick up the bike now. Haven't seen it, only seen photos. Decided to just send it and buy it, so super excited to see what we got. Alright, so we just picked up the bike, you can see a bit of it in the back there. Super stoked with it, it actually looks a lot better condition than what I saw online, so... It's gonna make for a really good series, so probably it's pouring down today, so I won't be able to do much more. So we'll be able to pick up this video tomorrow. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Currently the next day, nice and sunny out. So we're down at Orip Mountain Bike Park in Taranga, and we're gonna go through this bike. Super excited to ride it. So this is my first jump bike that I've ever purchased. So it's gonna be a really cool platform to learn how to do some dirt jumps and stuff like that. Super excited. So gonna go down to the trails now and then I'll show you what bike I got. All right, so here it is. This is my 2010 Marin Alcatraz. So it looks like this bike's completely stock from pretty much 2010. The guy I brought it from said he just left it in the garage, rode it a couple of times and then pretty much just sold it to me. So I got this bike really cheap. It only cost me $200 NZD. Absolute steal for the condition and everything. It does need a lot of cleaning up but it has a lot of potential for what I want to do with it. But first I'm kind of just want to change a few things around so I can run through some jumps and see see how she goes. So I want to ride it fully stop, like as if this was like how I brought it in 2010. So I thought it'd be pretty cool. There's a couple of jumps up here. Alright, so I noticed the brakes, I'm not sure if they're the original ones. So I saw online that it came with Avid brakes, which is like the SRAM version, but these ones have Shimano on it, so that might be the only other upgrade. It's got the the bomber shocks. It's got the original tires still on it, the original wheels, everything from the pedals to the cranks. So it's a bit rusty back here and the gearing and stuff all just needs probably a new chain and a few things, but we'll go over that in another video. Today I just want to get out and ride it. Super stoked to have a jump bike and Hopefully this is going to improve my riding and get more confidence over big steeper jumps. That's where I've been noticing that I've been lacking in my riding skills, so it's going to be perfect. Alright, first thing I want to do is drop the seat down. For some reason it's up super high, so looks like a 4mm Allen key. Alright, first mod's going down. Let's see if any of these are seized. Like that it's coming undone. Alright, let's bring it down. Might bring it about there so we can still see the logo. It makes it look pretty steezy. Then up the front we got these the brakes have been set up way too high. And it just makes it makes it so much harder to just ride because like your wrists are down like that but then the brakes are up here so we're gonna change that and then might do a few laps. All right, much better. So the brakes also need a bleed and the sh forks need a service. So it's gonna be a lot of things that I need to fix up on this bike, but I'm gonna try and make it super budget friendly since we're only $200 into this bike. I wanna get pretty much, I don't wanna go over $500 complete in parts and everything. So we'll run it like this for as long as we can and hopefully get it into crankworks, eh? All right, so I'm up at the two tabletops just at the RP jump line, and we'll give her a go. But I noticed something on the bike already looks a bit sus. Back here, the ring is meant to be up against the cog, 
but it's just spun out. I don't know if you can see that. That ring has got to be right up against the cog so the cog doesn't shake around. So, might just pump through, no pedals, because hate for the chain to snap or something and then crash or something. But I'll check the GoPro on for this one, make it a bit easier for me. Alright, let's walk on up to the top. That's tabletop number one, tabletop number two, just after it. So, I haven't even checked like the tire pressure or anything of this bike. Just pretty much got it out of the dude's garage, bring it down to shred it. Oh, big case. Another big case. Oh, oh. Not quite. Alright, that was run number one. Case both of them, just went a bit slow, keep it safe. Bite held mean, so this time I'll just run through, jump both of them. Alright. It's gonna be run number two. See if we can jump both of them. And then I'll give you some feedback on the bike, eh? Let's hope the bike holds up. Shocks are sagging a bit. Need to pump those up, but here we go. Oh yeah, got it. And the other one. So, see if we can get the spiky. Yeah. Not quite. Alright, so that's pretty much all I can do with the bike in the state that it's in. Next video I'm going to absolutely tear it down to the frame and just check over everything. But I probably might only replace the chain and stuff. Go through what else needs replacing, clean everything. But I kind of want to get back to like factory spec but running mint. And then we'll start upgrades after that. That's enough riding for today. So we've got to bike all the way back up to the car park. And i got to go to work later so she's a full on day. So I'm all packed up now. It's probably a shorter video today, but I'm gonna make this into like a build series. So next episode will be out hopefully soon. So if you really want to follow the channel, make sure you subscribe and maybe comment what you think about the bike and what you think I should do. Try to do some upgrades. If you guys want me to hit some jumps or something, that'll be pretty cool. But the goal is just a budget jump bike that's good for learning and pushing the the limits and stuff so make sure you guys subscribe comment and i'll see you guys in the next one